Initially, the measurements were surprising. Hurtling through space at speeds exceeding 61 kilometers per second, it surpassed every comet and asteroid within our vicinity. By the time most telescopes had focused on it, 3I, Atlas was already inside Jupiter's orbit, heading toward the Sun. Yet, speed was not the sole anomaly. Its trajectory was remarkably precise. It glided through the plane of our solar system, appearing to follow a predefined flight plan, perfectly aligning with the orbits of the planets. Unlike the chaotic angles of other interstellar visitors, this object seemed engineered for a purpose. Strangely, it would come perilously close to Mars, providing an excellent observational opportunity for our orbiters, but it would bypass Earth entirely. When it slingshots around the Sun, our planet will be on the opposite side, as if intentionally evaded. When sunlight strikes a comet, its frozen gases subliminate, releasing metals like iron and nickel simultaneously, due to their stellar origins. However, when the James Webb Space Telescope focused on 3I, Atlas, it detected something remarkable, a plume of nickel absent of iron, and cyanide rising too swiftly for its distance from the Sun. There was no gradual venting of ice, instead, a sharp, explosive release occurred, far more akin to engineered materials reacting than natural rocks heating. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and colleagues began to vocalize what many feared to consider. Could this object be a machine? The object's brightness added to the enigma. Typically, a comet illuminates by reflecting sunlight, suggesting larger size with increased brightness. By its luminosity, 3I, Atlas should be expansive, potentially larger than Manhattan. Yet measurements indicated otherwise, implying it might generate its own light. Artificial illumination is typically linked to spacecraft, satellites, or reactors, not natural interstellar bodies. Furthermore, Webb's thermal maps displayed something even stranger. One side absorbed more heat, emitted increased light, and vented gases that contradicted natural rotation, almost suggesting exhaust ports or compartments. What initially resembled a rock now behaved like a probe. Then, a signal emerged. Initially dismissed as interference, a faint pulse lost in spectral noise. However, as Webb continued to gather data, the pattern persistently recurred. A non-random pulse, mathematically structured, echoed at specific intervals. It was too orderly to be natural. When scientists compared it with historical signals, rapid radio bursts, pulsar beats, even the wow signal, similarities sent chills down spines. It occurred in the same frequency band, from the same region of Sagittarius. However, this time, the signal wasn't originating from deep space but alongside the object itself, as if it were engaged in communication. For years, SETI researchers envisioned such a discovery. They never anticipated the first reply would come not through radio dishes, but intertwined with the breath of a comet imposter. The implication was astounding. We might not be the first civilization capable of creating communicative machines. Perhaps we're simply the first ones foolish enough to respond. The theories began to accumulate. Some physicists began to entertain ideas they'd only previously contemplated in thought experiments. What if the object isn't a machine as we comprehend it, but something more profound, a part of the code itself? In the simulation hypothesis, the universe could be an artificial construct, where its laws appear physical until certain conditions arise. 3i, Atlas challenged chemical principles, disregarded momentum, emitted structured information, altered trajectory without visible force, and moved with intent. Could it be a debugging packet, an anomaly aimed at testing system limits or simulating alien contact? If true, why during our era of artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and James Webb, what if this object hails not just from outside our system but from beyond our simulation? A gentle nudge. A disturbance. A check-in to evaluate our response. 
Meanwhile, a quieter machinery began operating on Earth. Defense agencies reclassified all 3i Atlas data as strategic intelligence, equivalent to nuclear telemetry and threats to orbital security. Rumors circulated about intercepted electromagnetic patterns responding to observation. If accurate, the object isn't merely emitting, it's also listening. Every radar ping, telescope pulse, and quantum scan could reveal more about us than we realize. For the first time in decades, military strategists discussed not only contact but also countermeasures. James Webb's thermal scans unveiled yet another shock. Instead of the anticipated hot day side and cool night side, the object displayed two fixed warm points, independent of rotation and sunlight, resembling internal reactors or power modules functioning post-interstellar journey. On Earth, similar patterns have only been observed in our powered spacecraft. If 3i, Atlas truly maintains self-regulated energy zones, then it's not a comet, not an asteroid, and certainly not mere cosmic dust. This discovery was made even more remarkable by the technique employed. Webb's infrared imaging transcended simple heat detection, establishing direct connections between chemical signatures and physical outcomes. For the first time, scientists could link the spectrum of escaping gases to observable changes in trajectory. This marked a significant advancement in methodology. Acceleration transformed from an enigmatic figure on a chart to a property inherently linked to the object's chemical composition and internal structure. This integration of spectroscopy and motion has created a new standard for studying interstellar objects, one that will likely be utilized for all future discoveries. However, the irregular patterns of acceleration prompted further dialogue. While many scientists supported the idea of exotic natural phenomena, the resemblance to controlled propulsion could not be ignored. The periodic bursts of acceleration sparked intriguing possibilities. Webb's findings didn't establish anything artificial, yet they emphasized a vital fact. Natural entities can sometimes behave like engineered systems. This challenges astronomers to refine their techniques for distinguishing between the two. Further complicating the equation were instances of acceleration occurring without observable gas release. If outgassing wasn't the cause, what could explain it? Some scientists theorized that dust grains or tiny fragments could have been ejected invisibly, providing slight thrust. Others proposed the idea of internal stresses, sudden collapses or fractures deep within, shifting mass distribution, changing rotation, and creating the illusion of acceleration. Each theory expanded the understanding of cometary physics and introduced more complex models than ever before. These revelations carry significant impacts for our methods of detecting and cataloging interstellar visitors. If 3i, Atlas belongs to a group characterized by erratic accelerations, many observational surveys might be overlooking them. Accelerating objects may appear brighter or dimmer based on their gas venting, complicating consistent cataloging. Webb's insights indicate that surveys relying only on optical data may underestimate this diversity. Utilizing infrared capabilities will be essential for identifying classes of travelers that diverge from known comet behavior. One of the most thrilling outcomes of this discovery was its implications for planetary formation theories. 3i, Atlas's fragmented, volatile-rich structure suggests it formed within a chaotic disk, where collisions and uneven material accumulation trapped stores of unique substances. Such turbulent environments may contrast sharply with the relatively calm conditions that shaped our own solar system. If interstellar objects are indeed messengers from their origins, then the diversity of planetary systems throughout the galaxy could be far more extensive than we previously imagined, influencing the types of planets and atmospheres that develop. Beyond scientific concerns, this discovery resonates on a cultural and existential level. Observing a fragment from another star acts so differently from objects in our solar system reminds us of our connection to the broader galaxy. These are not mere rocks adrift in space. 
They are emissaries of distant suns, carrying the stories of alien creation in their unusual movements. Webb unveiled a glimpse of that rhythm, revealing a sequence of accelerations that spoke of conditions alien yet part of the shared galactic environment. On a grander scale, these bursts might also influence galactic ecology. Should interstellar comets release organic compounds episodically, then the galaxy is enriched through sudden events rather than gradual processes, dispersing molecules that may develop into ingredients for life. Thus, the accelerations were not mere quirks. They formed part of the larger cycle through which star systems exchange matter and chemical elements. An additional layer of understanding came from the chaotic rotation of the object. Webb's infrared data, in conjunction with ground-based analysis, revealed that 3I Atlas wasn't rotating steadily along a single axis. Instead, it tumbled erratically, as if asymmetric jets continually disrupted its balance. Each acceleration event impacted its rotation, creating instability that could potentially lead to fragmentation, indicating that interstellar comets might break apart and distribute debris into the galaxy more frequently than anticipated. Finally, Webb's infrared instruments identified compounds not observed in solar system comets, nitrogen-rich organics, unique silicates, and potentially even materials altered by radiation. These signatures pointed to a star system vastly different from ours, where the chemical landscape was shaped by far more energetic processes. This groundbreaking discovery provided the first direct evidence of true interstellar chemical diversity. Overall, the interaction between the Webb Telescope and 3I Atlas was more than just a notable astronomical event. It was a pivotal moment. What began as a quest for a dusty tail evolved into a lens through which we can study planetary formation, galactic chemistry, cometary dynamics, and the distinction between natural and artificial entities. 3I Atlas was no mere traveler. It served as an educator.